Andrew, Andrew had a very good game up Black Hills. Uh, I think a lot of it is that he was very comfortable in the things we were doing. Uh, he came out of high school with this kind of a system for the most part. And I think that Andrew has really grown over the first few weeks where he's been playing part-time, you know, with Eric alternating in and out. And I think that he stepped in this week and uh, really, really responded with a great game. And I know he was very excited. And I think he has high expectations for himself. And we have very high expectations. And so I, I think that uh, what people saw was not just a one-game deal, but I think it's going to be a standard of where he expects to be every week. I'll tell you what, uh, Dustin Rivas has played tremendously well for us at corner this year. He has responded in big fashion because early on teams have wanted to pick on him, having Jordan Price across from him. Jordan's been a three-time all-conference player. Uh, Jordan's been the, uh, was actually even the freshman defensive player of the year when he was a freshman. And so uh, uh, teams have tested Dustin, but Dustin has played tremendously well. He's up, he's up for the challenge. He uh, is excited about the opportunity that he gets. And, you know, he, he's just been a great example for us on the defensive side. But I think even as a whole, the defense has really adjusted to our system. Uh, we're playing more man coverage. We're putting different pressures on people. We want to take away a little bit more of the run game. And I think we've been very successful doing that. Um, you know, Black Hills hit us on a couple of big plays. Uh, they had ran a little bit of a quarterback trap up the middle that they hit us on when they were in empty. Uh, that kind of caught us in by a little bit of surprise that they had a couple of big plays. As soon as they did it the second time, we adjusted. They didn't have it again. Uh, and then they hit us with a little bit of a screen and go. That was a little bit of just an assignment breakdown, you know, by young man. Uh, so it was a deal that we practiced many times, but I think our defense is really starting to step around and rally with the things that we're doing. Highlands is a very, very explosive offensive football team. You know, their quarterback last week, I think, threw for 560 yards. What you'll see is is they've got a very talented group of receivers. Uh, their quarterback is very good. He understands the things they're doing. And uh, they're dangerous and a very, very explosive offensive football team. We will have to keep pressure on a quarterback. We cannot let him stand in the pocket and just throw the thing down the field. So we're going to have to bring a variety of pressures. We're going to have to bring some zone pressures, some man pressures. we got to do some things that overload their protections uh, and, and give us an opportunity to get some hits on him whether we get sacks or not you know that's that's uh, uh, that's a bonus but it's a standpoint we have to put pressure on him we have to have guys that can break up some passes one of the things I think that uh, will be a little bit different uh, for them is uh, they haven't played a team that plays as much man and press man as what we do. And so I think that can hopefully disrupt a little bit of their timing as well. And then offensively, we have to get first downs. We have to keep our offense on the field uh, and keep their, their offense sitting over our sidelines. Um, and so it's going to be an important day of field position. It's going to be a very important day of, of our offense playing well to keep them off the field because they are explosive. They're going to score points. They're going to get some yards. And we just have to, we have to basically outscore them in this game. And that doesn't mean it has to be a shootout, it means that we've got to keep their offense off the field.